Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am testing out all the products that are part of my makeup haul from Vegan Cut. So as you've seen in my previous video, I promised to do a GRWM. Get ready with me using all the products. So I'm already so done with my foundation, concealer and eyebrows just to get this thing started. I use Inika Organic Foundation. I got this last year. It's a vegan foundation. I just didn't have the chance to review it. It's not bad, it's not good either. I think it's just kind of like the color. The shade is not really a close match to my skin tone, but uh, it's a lightweight foundation. I mean, you can build it up, but uh, I don't think it can go as far as a medium uh, type of foundation. For my concealer, this is All Natural, and it's a stick concealer. Again, not a favorite, but I do love their liquid lipstick. Okay, now we proceed to all the products that are part of that makeup haul from Vegan Cuts. Um, okay, let's start with eye makeup. And I know that I really would like to try this eye trio from Emani. Okay, let's use whatever thing that I have right now. And by the way, that's my dog right there, okay? So don't freak out if she moves. I'm using natural lighting this time so that you can really appreciate how this product applies without all the uh, bright light. So I'm using this. Let's, let's go for smoky this time. And it has a mirror as you can see, so let's just do it this way easier for me to see my eyes. By the way, I need to ask you, are you watching 911. If you haven't yet, it's my new favorite show. It's really good. All the stars, especially Angela Bassett, she's my woman crush. I would love my body to be like her. She looks so strong and buff for her age. I didn't even know that she's almost or she's 60 years old already or almost 60 years old. That's the kind of body that I like when I get to that age. Strong and buff. I mean, looking cute and fab, it's nice, but I'd rather look strong and buff. So that is my personal fitness goal this year. What about you? What is your goal? Tell me. And by the way, I have a lot of by the way, okay? <laughs> I wrote fitness tips, although I you know, title it as fitness tips for women over 40. I think everyone can benefit any age. You always think in advance, okay? You don't wait for you to get sick. You don't wait for you to get damaged before you start fixing things. Because prevention is always better. And if you can reach old age without having to rely on medications, without having to visit your doctor every month, every few months, then that is my goal, personally. And I'm so happy that my husband is also sharing the same mindset. Didn't I tell you that he already is a vegan? He already became a vegan last year, August last year. And mind you, he is the ultimate carnivore he's a type who grew up just eating meat 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 finally he read the memo and realized that it's about time to really change his lifestyle his ways you know i want us to grow old retire and enjoy our old age together and not be sickly and you know instead of spending time enjoying our retirement years retirement money and then we don't want it to go to medications and doctor visits and all that kind of jazz nice now since i already applied concealer what i wanted to do before applying anything under the eyes would be to set the concealer and I'm going to do that very lightly we're gonna use our glass so if you recall I mentioned that 
for women of certain age, you don't bake, you don't overdo the setting of powder so as not to emphasize pores, emphasize pores and fine lines. So just very, very sparingly, only in areas that need a little bit of mattification. Okay, now my next plan, plan is perhaps oh use the eyeliner this eyeliner is from PHB natural organic eyeliner so just leave it out there so this is a black eyeliner Just little and then next is let's use this BWC this is the one that I'm most excited about beauty without cruelty full volume mascara cross finger it won't smudge so just a regular shape wand okay semi wet well it's you know it's kind of true for all mascara when you just open it fresh from the tube so far so good and i think what i would like to do to further enhance my smoky eyes would be would be perhaps would be perhaps let's do a little bit of uh, blending underneath so i'm still using the imani the lighter brown shade just kind of tie in a simple smoky eye look that we're doing and as you notice I'm smudging it huh? let's use the this is from the Thrive Cosmetics this is the lipstick and blush in one okay Put little there and it has a brush intended for blending no so the brush kind of just erase the pigment so I'd rather just use this from beauty junkies to diffuse and apply Okay, it tends to settle into pores too. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. See, here's the thing with me with uh, cream. I think that it entails more time for me just because I'm not used to really using cream blush as opposed to just a quick swish for powder type blush. Okay, uh, it kind of sank into my pores. I am going to top that with a pink blush from hourglass so it just defeated the purpose of just using the blush right anyway and then next thing that we're gonna do is I like to use the bronzer from Lily Lolo I'm always looking at my watch because we're taking more time than usual so I'm using elf finally we go to lipstick let's use this on natural one and this shade is just right for daytime wear so this is our finished look and what I plan to do is to get back to you at the end of the day and let's evaluate which ones of these products are a go and no go anyway hope you guys have a wonderful time and i'll see you later mahalo hello everyone it is now 7 15 in the evening don't get scared but your mama didn't retouch the entire day so this is how everything looked after a long day at work i just had dinner and as you can see eyeshadow gone 
the blush gone but of course as to the expected lipstick it's a sheer coverage it's not a liquid lipstick so maybe after two hours it's already gone and let me go take a look at my mascara surprisingly no smudge from the mascara okay thoughts first remember with my haul i'm holding my camera and right now we are using my ring light just because it's nighttime already anyways so the mascara the bwc mascara i'm not sure if this is the one that made me teary-eyed an hour into wearing it so but thankfully it didn't smudge it didn't irritate my eyes but like i said first hour it's just extra watery on this side and good thing it didn't transfer the pigment didn't transfer so i'm thinking this could be the culprit or this eyeliner because like i said i my eyes are very sensitive blush when i did my unboxing i said that so far i love it oh i didn't like it at all after really wearing it the entire time because it just set it into my pores and it just didn't blend nicely i didn't like it in fact i want to remove my makeup i had patience today and i just said oh disregard my makeup for today i'm testing out makeups and all excuses just because it's really like ah, it emphasized my pores which i don't like now the imani the imani one where are you the imani one the imani eyeshadow mm. It already started melting take note i live in hawaii and i used an eye primer but it started melting already after three hours of wearing i can really see the grease and the color melting off so the pigmentation is okay for the first hour however longevity is questionable so what is our final conclusion so far the only go from all these vegan products that were part of the vegan cut magnificent makeup haul if i'm not mistaken this entire so so far if you want to try out some new vegan makeups then i would go for the mascara so long story short i didn't have good experience with the other products i like the fact that they are vegan but as to the performance quality wear time it's a no-go for me like i said except for this bwc mascara so i hope you enjoyed our video for today i will see you next time and hopefully you know what we'll be able to find really nice products eventually have a wonderful evening and i'll see you later because i don't know <laughs> i look like a ghost now and see the oily skin and everything not good mama i'll see you in my next video mahalo